Are you looking for the best Samsung phones? In this video we will look at some of the 5 best phones on the market. Before we get started with our video. We have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Starting at number 1. Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. The Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra is a formidable contender in the 2024 smartphone arena, boasting enhancements across the board from its predecessor. With its overclocked Qualcomm Snapdragon HN3 chipset, improved display, chassis refinements, and upgraded camera system, the S24 Ultra positions itself as a versatile flagship catering to diverse user needs, from gaming to photography and productivity. However, the S24 Ultra's $100 price hike raises questions about its value, particularly against competitors like the iPhone 15 Pro Max. While the price increase reflects Samsung's commitment to delivering cutting-edge features, it may deter budget-conscious consumers despite the device's premium offerings. Notable among its strengths is the integration of Galaxy AI, a suite of tools enhancing productivity and imaging capabilities. Features like Chat Assist, Transcript Assist, and Circle to Search with Google underscore Samsung's focus on user experience and innovation, the long-term pricing implications of these features remain uncertain. Design-wise, the S24 Ultra refines its predecessor's aesthetics with a titanium frame and matte finish, elevating both durability and tactile appeal. The flat display, coupled with Corning's Gorilla Armor Glass, promises improved visibility and scratch resistance. In terms of performance, the S24 Ultra delivers on expectations, powered by the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chipset. While it may fall slightly behind dedicated gaming phones and benchmarks, real-world usage reveals smooth gameplay and efficient multitasking capabilities, albeit with occasional heating concerns. Despite minor drawbacks such as speaker placement and potential pricing uncertainties surrounding AI features, the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra stands as a compelling option for users seeking a premium Android experience. Its blend of top-tier performance, innovative features, and refined design reaffirms Samsung's position as a leader in the smartphone market, setting a high standard for flagship devices in 2024. At Number 2. Samsung Galaxy A54 5G. The Samsung Galaxy A54 5G is a great mid-range option for anyone after a Samsung phone. Even if you're on a tighter budget, it's worth shopping around for deals on this handset, it has many flagship features without the high price. With a 120Hz display, lovely build quality, and a shared design language with the big boys in the bunch, it definitely feels like a premium product. The battery is nice and big, the main camera is pretty ace for the price, and all around, for day-to-day -day tasks, this is more than enough. Still, there are of course drawbacks to buying a phone at a third of the cost of a flagship. The chip inside is nowhere near the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 if you really want to push your phone, the A54 is enough for standard stuff. But don't expect to max out the graphical settings or do some in-depth photo editing. That's the main drawback, mind you. The camera is good enough, nowhere near the low-light or zoom performance of the S23 Ultra, however, while the trusted Samsung software support is a boon against some of the smaller-scale competition. It's a great deal. At Number 3. Samsung A14 5G. So, we've talked about our best budget option, but if you want the absolute cheapest phone you can get from Samsung, then you'll want to look at the A14 5G. Despite its especially small price tag, there's still a lot that this phone has to offer. The biggest setback for this model is that it uses One UI Core, rather than the standard One UI that other Samsung phones have in place. This sacrifices a few playback enhancements, smart suggestion, and a few other features, but all the essentials are still there. There just aren't as many bells and whistles. But let's talk about what it does have. For one thing, its camera, while inferior to the camera on fancier Samsung phones, when looked at on its own, is actually pretty impressive and will allow you to capture some high-quality shots. Likewise, its 6.6-inch Full HD Plus LCD screen looks beautifully vibrant, and while it is true that the bezels are a bit big, that doesn't change that it still looks great. At Number 4. Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4. The best foldable Samsung phone is obviously the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4. Why is that obvious? Well, because they only have one non-clamshell foldable, and this is the most recent. Simple as. What you get for the high price is a great Snapdragon chip, not the best of the best right now, 
however, and enough RAM and storage space for most people. Oh, and a big, gorgeous tablet-style screen hidden away in an easy, foldable package. This is where the primary benefit is. The foldable screen means you can still carry the phone in your pocket, but if you need to do things like gaming, editing, or movie watching, you don't need another device for the bigger screen experience. There are drawbacks, of course. The price is a bit nuts, read, far too much. Meanwhile, foldable screens do not have the same durability as standard ones, so that investment isn't as long-term as a flagship. Oh, and then there are little niggles, like the weird aspect ratio of the big screen, the width of the handset when folded, and the mediocre battery life. These drawbacks are pretty inevitable right now in the foldable market, so you need to make sure you need a foldable before diving in. If you are set on getting in on the hinge action, this is definitely a great choice, if not the best. At Number 5. Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 4. The best clamshell Samsung phone is again the latest and only model in production, the Galaxy Z Flip 4. There are the same caveats as above but at a lower starting price, helping it look like a more appealing option. First up, benefits. The form factor is lovely, and the simple gimmick of flipping open your phone again is ace, while the high refresh rate and speedy chip keep everything feeling nice and modern. Caveats, however, can be just as big as above. The crease from the screen can annoy some, the battery life isn't very good, and the durability on foldable screens is still subpar. The weirder thing is that a clamshell doesn't have the big screen benefit of a book-type foldable. Still, this isn't about whether foldables are worth it yet or not, this is simply the best Samsung clamshell, hands down. While the competition is hotting up, I'm looking at you, Oppo, there's still the tried-and-true Samsung trustworthiness here.